The first thing that most people think of when they hear high performance is insulation. However, when we talk about a high performance wall assembly, we're referring to more than just insulation. A high performance wall needs to be able to handle bulk water, have the ability to dry out if it gets wet, it needs to be airtight, and it needs to be able to prevent condensation or at least have a strategy to deal with condensation and water vapor. New homes nowadays are a lot more moisture sensitive than they used to be. Older homes were built out of stronger, more durable materials like old growth lumber and were poorly insulated, meaning that they're able to dry out very easily if they got wet. New homes are now built out of fast growing timber, OSB and plywood, and paper faced gypsum and are highly insulated, which comes at a cost. Drying requires a heat transfer, which insulation is very good at slowing down. This results in moisture that accumulates in a wall cavity, leading to mold and rot if that water is unable to escape. A common theme with all these wall assemblies is that they're relatively vapor open to some degree, meaning that any water that happens to accumulate in the wall cavity, whether it's from condensation or through a leak, will be able to dry out easily. Out of all these wall assemblies, this is the least expensive option out there with materials and components you could likely get off the shelf at a home improvement store. Tyvek Home Wrap has a high perm rating of about 56. However, one issue with Tyvek Home Wrap is that it's not fully adhered, meaning that you'll need to use air sealing tape to seal each OSB or plywood joint. You can use OSB or plywood for this assembly, though plywood's gonna give you a little bit of a higher hygric buffer capacity, which basically just means the ability for a material to store water without failing since there's more real wood and plywood than OSB. If you're on a strict budget, OSB can absolutely work here. This wall assembly features a typical half-inch gypsum board, a 2x6 framed wall with Rockwell Comfort Bat, plywood sheathing with air sealing tape, Tyvek home wrap, rain screen battens using vertical furring strips, and then finally the cladding choice. The next wall assembly is a step up from the previous system using ZIP system sheathing instead of standard OSB. ZIP has an integrated weather barrier, keeping the waterproofing simple and increasing its potential for air tightness and reducing labor costs. The joints and seams between each ZIP panel also need to be sealed with air sealing ZIP tape. On top of the ZIP sheathing, we installed the same rain screen battens to provide an air gap between the cladding. This assembly is one of the more vapor open assemblies on this list and can be used in basically any subclimate in the Pacific Northwest. We have a combination of cavity insulation and rigid insulation using rock wool products, along with a self adhered high perm weather barrier called Delta Vent SA Bite Working. I really like this weather barrier for two reasons. It's self adhered, meaning that it's going to provide a really nice air seal without having to tape each joint with the sheathing and it easily allows water vapor to move through it so that drying can occur on either side of the wall. We also have an additional layer of Rockwool Comfort Board 80 to prevent thermal bridging and reduce condensation potential. So as you can see here, this wall assembly features our typical half inch gypsum board interior finish, a two x six frame wall with Rockwool Comfort Bat, plywood sheathing, Delta Vent SA, Rockwool Comfort Board 80, and a rain screen system using vertical furring strips. The reason why we use plywood in this system instead of OSB is because OSB has a very low perm rating compared to plywood. We want something that is able to breathe, and OSB just does not have that ability. This wall assembly uses the concept of the perfect wall with no interior insulation. Instead, we have a 5 inch layer of Rockwool Comfort Board 80, a rigid mineral wall product that can provide continuous exterior insulation, similar to a big jacket around your home. Exterior insulation prevents thermal bridging at the studs, posts, and headers as it thermally separates these components from the exterior environmental temperatures. The system also allows for maximum drying and virtually inhibits the potential for water to condense on the backside of the sheathing as the indoor air temperature and moisture moisture levels are consistent. The lack of cavity insulation also makes installing plumbing runs and electrical conduit easy during remodels. It keeps maintenance simple. There's a reason why this is called the perfect wall. I think the biggest factor that determines the lifespan of a home is its ability to dry. At some point, every building gets wet. It's just a fact of life. Using vapor permeable weather barriers and materials in combination with vented air gaps called rain screens facilitate this drying process, preventing things like mold growth, wood rot, and poor indoor air quality. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for architecture related content. In the meantime, I'd recommend downloading my guide to residential projects in the Northwest. It's completely free and has some great information that every future owner should know before they start a project. I'll put a link to that in the description. Good luck on your projects. Cheers.